Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco <laughs> boy. and welcome to my channel. As for this video, we're gonna test FSR 4.0.2, which is the newest implementation of FSR 4 that you can get through the Adrenaline Driver or through the SDK, so you can just simply switch the DLLs and upgrade your FSR version from 3.1 to 4.0.2 or just use the Adrenaline settings that now were updated, by the way, with the 24.9.1 drivers, it was updated to basically be whitelisted in all games. That doesn't mean that all games work with FSR 4, it means that games with FSR 3.1 should work, at least in theory should work, some may not work because according to AMD those games might have some altered FSR implementations that are not exactly the, well, the way that they're supposed to, so that might happen, but usually in all games it works. Now it even comes enabled by default, so you just install the drivers and if you have an RX 9000 series, it just works. And I'm making this video because there are lots of people that still say that FSR is crap and that FSR is not even close to the LSS Transformer model and yeah, that's actually wrong. So let's start with Mafia the Old Country and even though upscaling techniques are kind of a crutch in some case scenarios, nowadays since they are very very well done, they are very very good in case scenarios where for example we have an RX 9060 XT, which is a car that isn't supposed to play at 4K, obviously, and as you can see Mafia the Old Country is having 27 FPS with the 9070, with the 9060 XT, sorry, because the game is not really well optimized and even though the card is from the newest generation, it is an entry-level card, it is not supposed to play at 4K, but with the correct upscaling, we can make it play at 4K. Not like native 4K, but very, very close, and that's where FSR 4.0.2 shines. And we're using TSR, which is the native, and you can see that we already have some some shimmering, for example, in the... Um, in that car, in the in the wood part of the car that I, I don't really remember the name in English, but we do have some shimmering there. And if you look at the ropes of the of the boat back there, we can see that they also shimmer a bit. And this is again, this is native 4K. Native. Who? Oh! Today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Mashi AI, a community where you have lots of 3D models you can download and use in your games. Mashi AI also allows you to create 3D models by simply inserting a text prompt, like I did here with this giant holding the sword, an orc with a big sword, or even a cyberpunk character. You can also generate pictures from text, and even better, you can generate 3D models based on a picture that you have. It isn't perfect, but it is definitely a good start if you ask me. But this isn't even the best about Mashi AI. You have the the AT Pulse generator that can be used to create animation ready characters and the new texture edit that allows you to edit textures on the fly using text prompts and fix imperfections with a healing brush. And one of the latest features is the physically based rendering that allows you to see how the model shading will react based on the lighting applied, which is quite cool. Help the channel by clicking the link below for an awesome Mesh AI experience. And if we go to something like, let's say, performance mode, which is, or let's say balanced, balanced, because people seem to use a lot balanced or performance mode when, when it comes to 4K, and, those, and as soon as we go to balanced, there's lots and lots of shimmering, it is just not good. Again, native we had shimmering, and with TSR uh, in balance, even at 4K we have lots of shimmering. The quality is generally okay-ish, I would say, we can see that it is not real 4K, but yeah, we have lots of shimmering and we now go to, let's say, 52 FPS, even on a 96XT, from 20 something to 52, which is kind of acceptable. Now, as soon as we go and we enable FSR 4, we go to the balanced mode, of course, and we are pushing 51 FPS, so we only lost 3 FPS, around 3 FPS versus TSR, but look, for example, at the shimmering, non-existent. Balanced mode, the quality is very, very nice, and again, no shimmering whatsoever. You just look at the, the ropes, you just look at everywhere and there's no shimmering. So the temporal stability with FSR is even better than native. Of course that if you're using if you're using FSR4 native, it will be better. But in terms of FSR4 balanced versus TSR native, FSR balanced just does a better job, which is actually impressive. And if you look at the quality, I have a big monitor. The only thing that we can notice much better, usually with the quality mode versus the balanced, is in terms of motion, we can see that, yeah, uh, the motion looks better. But again, 
quality wise it looks very great it looks sharp enough and we don't really have many motion artifacts or whatsoever stability is also great as you saw there we can go even further and go to performance mode as soon as we go to performance mode we go up to around 60 fps in this case 58 and it is still perfectly playable i'm telling you i'm i'm using a kdc 42 inches monitor and it just looks fine we do have a bit of i would say that we do have a bit of ghosting in terms of movement and again i'm using a 42 inches monitor and i can barely see it but it, it is it is definitely there it is not 4k but it is very close to 4k and we can make a 9060 xt actually playable at 4k something that wasn't really possible without fsr because of course if you try tsr in the performance mode it just looks like crap while fsr4 in the balanced or performance mode it kind of looks decent very very decent to be honest and with this i am not saying that fsr4 is better than native especially fsr performance is better than native at least overall i'm just telling you that in some aspects fsr4 performance upscaling from 1080p to 4k is actually better than native tsr especially as i told you in terms of temporal stability which is awesome and we have other examples like lies of p Lies of P runs at around 50, 60 FPS, depending on the scenario, in the 9060 XT, and we're running native 4K, and I believe it's maximum settings, let me just check out, yeah, but yeah, it's kind of limiting in most case scenarios, 50 FPS, and the quality looks, looks fine, but it is nothing really astonishing since we're using TAA, I believe. Uh, so the temporal stability is not that great and we still have some ghosting even with TAA if you look at um, if you look for example at the rain you can see that we have we have some ghosting and it's 4k native now as soon as we go into the game and we enable for example FSR quality FSR 4 quality we immediately go to 60 something so even when going to quality mode, we don't really get many more FPS, but for example, the ghosting, in terms of the rain ghosting, it gets much better. It gets better, better in this scenario. In terms of temporal stability, I would say it gets better as well, but we went from 50, let's say, to 60 something. But yeah, it's very close in terms of quality, not better, not worse, just very, very close, to be honest. So let's go down to what's really matter in, ter in terms of having more FPS, and let's go to the performance mode. With the performance mode, we go up to 74 FPS, and I must tell you that uh, it feels much better, because, of course, we have more FPS, and the quality still looks great. This is perfectly playable, and I'm really, really bothered with all that crap, uh, with um, shimmering. That's one of the things that I despise the most, and I can tell you, shimmering-wise, it is fine. Quality-wise, it is fine. If you think that the image is a bit dull, you can just increase the sharpness slider a bit in order to give that crispness or that sharpness to the image. But as you can see, it just looks good. And I'm looking again with a 42 inches monitor. The smaller the monitor, the, le the less you'll notice the defects. And even in the 42 inches, it just looks good even on the performance mode, which is great. And we can limit the FPS to 60 and then do uh, some frame generation. And now we're basically running at 100 and something FPS. Of course, this is using frame generation, but the upscaling is actually so good. What's going on here? The upscaler is actually so good that we can, I mean, we can play perfectly with a 4K monitor and it just, it is just fine, I mean, it just looks great. If I'm being honest, it just looks great and it is performance mode. If you look at it, we don't really have many artifacts in terms of temporal stability. I didn't see any shimmering yet which is one of the things that's most annoying with, with the previous FSR versions. We have very good temporal stability, and even in the performance mode, it just works great. On top of that, we can simply go um, lock the, the base frame rates to 60, use frame generation, and even with the older frame generation, so this is not the machine learning frame generation, even with the old frame generation, it just works well. I mean, it just works well, perfectly fine, quality-wise, it's great. Again, meaning that even the RX 96 XT, because of upscalers and frame generation, can deliver a very good experience in single-player games, even if you're using 4K. Again, I'm not saying that it is better than native, but in some scenarios, it is, like you saw in Mafia. And this also applies if you play lots of multiplayer games, like, let's say, Marvel Rivals. If you like to play it a lot and you have a 9060 XT, 
and th this is of course this is an extreme scenario i just really wanted to make uh the video with 4k and the 96xt in order to show you that with the newer with the newer upscaling techniques and the newer frame generation techniques you can play uh 4k and you can use your 4k monitor much better than you could ever do it before the same applies for the lss transformer model so we're having around 40 fps and we're running native 4k in terms of the quality it is pretty decent i mean not that great we have kind of that grainy feeling around the edges it's not that great but it looks decent i would say with taau as soon as we go for fsr for quality we can adjust the the sharpness a bit apply and we go to 60 fps so we have increased fps by a bit and i don't really know if fsr4 is working i knew that fsr4 wasn't working but it works in marvel rivals oh it shows fsr3 and fsr4 so again fsr3 <laughs> i knew that the quality just wasn't kind of right it didn't seem right so fsr fsr3 and we now go here and we choose fsr4 quality and now we can increase the sharpness to 10 with a huge difference. Now, the FPS didn't increase that much because, again, uh, yeah, it's using FSR4. But definitely a, a huge increase, I would say, quality-wise. Now, if we go to performance mode, we go up to 69 FPS. No pun intended, 61, now 65. So it kind of depends, of course. But since... We have a, a game with this art style, it just looks great. To be honest, it just looks great. Okay. So even in performance mode, this game looks quite fine. 69 FPS around that. And we can go even further and we can upscale from 720p. Let's go to ultra performance mode. We are upscaling from 720p, <laughs> which is insane. And since this game's art style is quite okay, so it's easier on the upscaler, we do have some issues around the edges, but it's it's playable. I mean, upscaling from 720p is actually playable. We hover around 80 FPS and <laughs> I mean, man, it is still playable. Since the game art style is really easy on the upscaler because of the defined lines and so on, even at 720p, upscaling from 720p to 4K, it is still playable and the experience is actually much better than I ever thought it would ever be. But if you don't really want to compromise in terms of quality, you can just go to balance, for example, apply, and then just go enable anti-lag 2 for better latency and then frame generation. And by the way, when we enable frame generation, you immediately have anti-lag. And even in the balance settings, you now have 93 FPS. And in terms of latency, it is actually pretty decent. I won't say that it is great in terms of latency, because it isn't. But it is actually pretty playable. Even in these types of competitive shooters. And again, we are now hovering 80, 90 FPS with FSR4 upscaling. If I can, if I want to go even further, I can go for example FSR performance. Performance mode at 4K in this game looks very, very good. I'm not even exaggerating, it looks very good with FSR 4.0.2 and you can use frame generation to go up to 100 frames per second and it, it is definitely a, an enjoyable experience, I would say. Much better than playing at the native 40 FPS that the game gives you without FSR4. So definitely a must i would say and there are many other games where fsr4 also works like hunt showdown call of duty black ops 6 also works with fsr4 battlefield will come out with fsr4 as well we have many many other games that work and if they don't work you can use optiscaler to make it work Alan Wake 2 for example can only use fsr2 officially but with optiscaler you can use fsr4 and the game running native with fsr2 native we have 27 FPS on the 90 on the 96XT because it's 4K and of course we're not using any kind of ray tracing. It's an entry level card and even at 4K we can see lots of shimmering in the hair. As soon as we go to performance mode, we get lots of ghosting and we get lots of pixel uh, pixelation. Let, let's look for example at the butterflies. Lots of pixelation and the quality just looks like crap. Now as soon as we go and we enable OptiScaler, and with that we enable the LSS and again we're not using the LSS we're only using the LSS inputs the LSS only works with NVIDIA cards performance mode and now we are injecting XESS and it already looks much better especially in the hair but still with lots of artifacts so let's go here and instead of XESS let's inject FSR4 
and bam, we are now using FSR 4.0.2. And even when compared, as you saw, even when compared to uh, to XCSS, it just looks much better. We have way less shimmering, the hair just looks much more defined, and we're using performance mode. And we are able to play it at 40 FPS. If we decrease the settings, we can get even more. Let's give it some light. This is with FSR 4, we have good quality in the water, in the transparent pixels. The, pic the, the image quality is basically defined, but as soon as we go to FSR 2, we have lots of pixelation, the water doesn't look as good, as soon as we start moving we have lots of shimmering. It isn't the worst implementation of FSR 2 of course, but it isn't the best. Look for example there, we have lots of shimmering. Uh, and we have mostly pixelation. As soon as we enable the FSR 4.0.2 mod, the image just looks great, even in performance mode. And the upscaler quality improved so much, really so much, that I would argue that 720p with FSR 4 looks better than 1080p with FSR 2, definitely. So if we go down and we go to let's say ultra performance mode upscaling from 720p to 4k since we're using fsr4 as you can see just looks fine i mean it just looks fine it is actually playable it is of course that it doesn't bring the same quality as the performance mode but it is playable something that wasn't possible with fsr2 if we go to ultra performance mode with fsr2 let's try this Ultra performance, it looks like crap. Look at the pixelation in the in the posts, the lamp posts. The quality just looks so bad, it hurts. Look at the ground, for example. Man, that just looks so bad. But as soon as we change to FSR4, even upscaling from 720p looks much, much better. Even a 9060 XT can have a decent experience, I would say. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. I just really wanted to show you how FSR 4.0.2 works this is not kind of a side-by-side -side comparison video i just wanted you to see how it works in kind of a, a live gameplay a real gameplay because i mean it just looks great maybe if you thought about upgrading your monitor first and then upgrade your gpu so maybe if you thought about getting a 4k monitor to play with a lower end gpu that you have now like the 9060 xt maybe looking into upgrading to a 9070 xt later or even for the next generation even at 4k you can play most games just fine. You have frame generation that will be upgraded to machine learning frame generation, meaning that the quality and the latency will get even better with FSR Redstone and the upscaling quality is just very nice. You can go with FSR 4 performance and you'll get very, very nice quality, very, very nice quality, sorry, in many, many games like, no, like Lies of P. Titan Quest is one of the games that also performs quite well because we have FSR 4. Leave a comment in the comment section letting us know if you use FSR 4 or not if you use it in performance mode, balanced quality, let us know. I personally use it in quality mode all the time with my 9070 XT at 1440p ultra wide and it works great. I prefer just the high FPS numbers that FSR delivers and in some case scenarios like you saw, FSR 4 actually delivers better temporal stability than 4K native. So <laughs> it is what it is. It is a great technology for sure and it will only get better. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.